Epic stars, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna complete the 2023 mathematics performance test paper in this video. In the last video, we left off at part one, so we are moving on to part two. So let's get right to the questions. The principal needs to purchase furniture for the computer lab. He already has a desk and chair for the teacher that he has set aside for the room. He would now like to get desks and chairs for the students to furnish the rest of the room. He, he is thinking about two furniture options as shown below. Option one, two teacher furniture, one desk with two chairs. Each desk together with two chairs occupies a total floor space of three meters square. Option two, five-seater furniture, one desk with five chairs. Each desk together with five chairs occupies a total floor space of eight meters square. Question three, what is the maximum number of two-seater furniture that will fit inside the computer lab? Remember the space set aside for the teacher's desk and chair. So from question two, we're bringing down our answer. And the area for the computer lab was 90 meters square. So we're gonna write that down. And now we're going to take out, take out the space set aside for the teacher. And we're just going back to the diagram to see the dimension. So it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two. There's three meters by two meters, and that's six meters. So it was 96, rather. Let me just make the correction. It was actually 96 and not 96. I'm actually writing the answer already. It was 96. And the area for the space Set aside for the teacher, teacher's desk and chair is six meters square. So that's why I got the 90 because I already knew the answer. So I'm actually subtracting the total area of the computer minus the area that the teacher will sit and that's how I'll get 90 meters square. All right, then let's calculate the maximum two seater now. So for the two seater furniture,
for the maximum number of two seater furniture, that's going to be 90, which is the area now that we have to work with, divided by three because the two seater furniture takes up three meters square. So the maximum number of two seater furniture is 30. Because if we divide 90 by 3, we'll get 30. So that's the maximum number of two potential. And I can basically copy and paste. For 5 seater, because we're working with the same area, the only difference is that the 5 seater takes up 8. Eight meters square. So from that we can divide ninety by eight. And if we should divide ninety by eight, we'll get eleven. We're gonna get a decimal, 11.25. So in fact, only 11 can hold. We're gonna round it down. So only 11 furniture can hold. It says which furniture option, two seater or five seater, will allow more students to be seated in the computer lab at once. So let's work that out. So let's work on the two seater. So if there are thirty two seater shares that's the maximum that can hold in the computer lab and then if you multiply that by two because two students can sit on a two two seater chair so that's 60 students and for the five seater then you have 11 five seaters times five because it's five students can sit on it and sit on the two seater furniture. So that's 55 students. And so there, so I take the box, which one can hold more students, and that would be the two-seater option. All right, let's move on to the next question. Now let's calculate the cost of the furniture. The cost of the furniture option is shown below. In the box for the two seater is one thousand and fifty six, and the five seater is two thousand nine hundred and fifty eight. Let's so I got the two seater option. So if there are thirty two seaters, and one is for one thousand and fifty six, multiply by thirty. I will kind of work that out. Anything multiplied by zero is, is going to be zero. So the first row would be zero. And then we have another zero for placeholder. And then our three times six is 18. 
Eight times six is 18, and then we put the one here. I'm going to place those afterwards. Three times five, 15 plus one, 16. And we'll bring up the one for the 16. Three times zero is zero. Plus bring down the one, and then three times one is three. I can add now. So the correct answer is three, one, six, eight. Thirty one thousand six hundred and eighty. So that's the cost to purchase the total number of two seats of furniture. And let's work out the five seats. Huh? For the five seats. Huh? It would be. Eleven times two thousand nine hundred and And anything times one is the same one. So that's going to be the first row. And all we're doing is adding a placeholder for the second row, which is the zero. Let's bring down, add now, bring down our answer. We have eight first, and then five plus three is thir 13, three next. Okay. Made this. Eight, three, three up the one. Five and nine, fourteen, and one fifteen. Nine and two, eleven. Bring over the one, eleven plus one. Two bring up the one and then we bring down the two. So the cost for this two seater is thirty two thousand five hundred and thirty eight. So it says, which furniture option would you recommend the principal to choose for the computer lab?
And I would recommend the two seat option. And my two reasons for recommending the two seat option. My first reason, the computer lab and for more to teacher. And And two, the two seater furnitures are cheaper to purchase. They can have um this can be phrased anyway, just based on how you want to structure it. But in essence, you want to write that one, the two-seater can hold more, the computer room can hold more two-seater options, and hence you can hold more students. Oh boy. The computer can hold more two-seater options and hence it can hold more students and then it's much cheaper than the five seat option. So once you have those as your answer, then it should be okay. So there you have it at the end of the 2023 Mathematics Performance Task Paper. Uh, so I'll be doing the review for the other papers in very short order. So you can stay tuned to the channel to see the review of those papers. Thanks for watching.